In this video, we're going to discuss the Clapeyron equation. The Clapeyron equation gives us a general framework for looking at the slope of phase boundaries. So in the plot that I have on the left here, um, it's a general phase boundary. Basically what I've done is like zoom in on a small piece of a phase diagram. So this isn't the full uh, phase diagram for a substance, but just zooming in on the phase boundary between two phases, right? Um, we're looking at pressure with respect to temperature, and this uh, pink line is the phase boundary, right? So if we wanted to look at the slope of this phase boundary, we would be looking at the change in pressure with respect to temperature, right? So our slope of the phase diagram would be dp dt, right? This will be the slope of the phase boundary. Right, so what the Clapeyron equation gives us is a general way to to look at the um, the slope of phase boundaries, right? So it's not just as simple as equating the pressure and temperature change, right? We have to look, use our equilibrium uh, thermodynamics that we have available to us via the chemical potential in order to derive a general um, equation that would be useful for a phase boundary. Right. So um, the starting point for this derivation is that we know that there's going to be a chemical potential associated with each of these phases. Right. So phase B would have mu B and phase A would have mu A. Right. And we have a general dif differential that defines any infinitesimal change in in the chemical potential. Right. So we know that for D mu A. Right, that will be equal to the molar volume of A, dP, minus the molar entropy of A, dT. And similarly, we can derive an equation for, uh, or we can express an equation for the second phase, phase B, right? Molar volume of B, dP, minus the molar entropy of B, dT, right? So again, we wanna get a general expression for the slope of a phase boundary. Um, both of these differentials involve dp and dt, so it seems that we got most of the ingredients that we need to derive a general relationship. So um, what I wanna do now is take advantage of the fact that we know at equilibrium, right? So during the phase transition, when both uh, phases are in equilibrium, their chemical potentials are going to be equal. So we can say that d mu A is going to be equal to d mu B. What that means is that we can set both of these expressions equal to each other, right? So we can say that B bar A dP minus S bar A dT is going to be equal to B bar B dp minus s bar b dt right so we have this equality because we know that the phases are going to be equal at equilibrium right so what i'm going to do is put like terms on both sides right so that i can end up with the following uh expressions right so what well, we have we have these um expressions from the uh the chemical potentials being equal but we can uh we can kind of shift terms here so that we can get the volume and uh, pressure, the volume and the entropy terms on one side, right? So on the left-hand side, I'm going to bring uh, SB over, right? So we'll have S bar B minus S bar A, right? Both of those are with respect to DT, right? That's going to be equal to V bar B minus V bar A. Right. Both of those are with respect to DP. Right. So what we have here, right, this uh, subtracting the molar entropy of A from molar entropy of B and the same thing with the subtraction of molar volumes. These would be the uh, differences associated with the phase transition. Right. So this difference in molar entropy would just be the difference in entropy for whatever transition we're looking at from A to B, right? Same thing here, right? This would be the difference in molar volume associated with this phase change. So we'll have 
subscript TRS for whatever the transition is, right? So the uh, change in molar entropy for that transition and the change in molar volume for that transition, right? So we can re-express this in the following way, where we'll have delta S for the transition, dt, is equal to delta V for the transition, dp. Then what we can do is express um, this guy as the slope of a phase boundary, right? We can have, get an expression for dp over dt, and that's just going to be equal to delta s of the transition over, and I put delta s bar, delta v bar of the transition, right? So this is the Clapeyron equation. So this guy is the Clapeyron equation. And it gives us a general equation that we can use to get the slope for a phase boundary. 